Hey guys, um, I got some people asking me about uh, minor scales, and uh, here's a little short video on how to make them. And before we start, we need to know some things about scales. And for my last video, we talked about how to make major scales, and we talked about the half steps being between three and four, and seven and eight. Well, in minor scales, they're a little bit different. And the other problem we run into is that there are three types. All right, there's the pure or natural. Then there's a harmonic and there's the melodic. Now, in a minor scale, we'll first deal with the pure. All right. Well, the pure half steps occur between two and three. All right. And five and six. So let's make a scale. Like this. And if you remember from my last tutorial, we're going to first write out the letters as they naturally occur in a scale. We're not going to add any sharps or flats, and we're going to make a C minor scale. And this is going to be a pure minor scale, all right? All right, so here we go. And we're going to number these so we can know where our numbers fall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, or we could say one for you sticklers out there. All right, C being the first degree of the scale, D being the second, and so on. We have to have a half step between two and three. So D to E is not what? A half step is a whole. So we've got to make that E into an E flat. F to G is a whole. G to A. Whoa, here we go. Five and six has to be what? A half step. So instead of A, because G to A is a whole step, boom. Look at that. We have to make it a half step. Now, between six and seven has to be a whole step. Because remember, our half steps are only occurring between two and three and five and six. So A to B is not a half step and it's not even a, really a whole step. It's really a an augmented second, but that's another story. All right, but this has to be a whole step. So A flat to B flat, boom, that becomes B flat. And we're back at C. Let's look at the piano and see what that looks okay, like. Okay, so let's look at this and hear what this sounds like. And here are our scale degrees, one, two, in between two and three, we have to have a half step. Everything else? And watch this. Five, six. So what's really going on here? Well, remember we talked about half steps only occurring between two and three and five and six. Now, with that being said, Everybody else has to be the drawing board. Steps. Now, that was a pure minor scale that we did. Now, the intervals between for a harmonic minor scale are a little bit different. The intervals there are between, and we'll write our numbers out. In fact, let's write our scale out. Sorry, there we go. Make sure I did it right. Oh, we left out F. In fact, let's just start over again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is going to be a harmonic minor scale. And we're going to write our numbers underneath here.
Now watch this. In a harmonic minor scale, it's a little bit different. The half steps occur between two and three. Watch this. Five and six. And seven and eight. Two, three, five, six, and seven and eight. So let's make our scale. From C to D, it's a whole step. But from two to three, we've got to make it a half step. So that makes it D to E flat. There we go. E to F is a whole step. Okay. F to G, which is four to five, is a, another whole step. Whoop, look what we got here. Half steps have to be here. All right. G to A is not a half step. Let's make it G to A flat. Makes it a half step. Now, here comes the most mysterious thing of all. And for me, it would always confuse me in college. I would say, what about this big giant gap here, which is really an augmented second? What I usually do is don't think about it because it, I look at the last note, and I know between the last note and this note, it has to be a half step. So that has to be B. And that's a harmonic minor scale, just putting it in simple terms. Because we could go in to say, well, you've got to put, you know, a step and a half. But we won't get into that. We're going to make it very simple. Just know that when you get to this last note, Right before it, it has to be a what? Half step. Let's try it in G. Let's put our numbers. All right, here we go. Half steps between two and three, five and six, and seven and eight. All right, A to B flat. Half step. D to E flat. Half step. Now watch this. F sharp. All right. To G. And some people would say, well, why isn't that G flat? Well, remember, we have to keep our letters in the proper sequence. So we wouldn't say G, A, B flat, C, D. E flat, G flat, G. In harmonically speaking, that would be incorrect. That's why we don't say G, A, and watch this, A sharp. You want to keep your letters in the proper sequence. So let's go back to the piano and see what how this looks on the piano. All right, we're back again, and we're at the piano, and we're going to do a harmonic minor scale. And... Um, Half steps between two and three, and five and six, and seven and eight. All right, let's zoom the camera out a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now, here we go. One, two, three. Two and three, four, five and six, seven, eight. Let's try it in G, right? One, two, and three. See? Four, five, another. Half step between seven and eight. Kind of sounds like an, an Arabian scale. Okay, guys, we're back again, and this final scale is going to be called the melodic. This one is kind of crazy because it goes up one way and comes back down another. And the way it goes up, let's write our letters out. We're going to do it in C. In a melodic minor scale, the half steps occur differently. All right. For example, they will happen between two and three. 
okay? Five and six. No, I am so sorry. Only between two and three and seven and eight. All right? So, remember, melodic, two and three going up and seven and eight. So, let's look at what we got here. Two to three, half step. Everybody else is going to be a whole step. When we get to this last one, it's got to be a half step. So we have it, B and C. Coming back down, it has to be a pure minor. Okay, well, that was it. And remember we talked about it coming down as a pure minor scale. So melodic goes up one way and comes down differently another way. Let's see what that sounds like. So what that sounds like, let's see what it sounds like. Um, the melodic minor, the strange one, goes up one way and comes down another. And this is how it goes up. And half steps are between two and three and seven and eight. Comes down like a pure minor. There we have it. Your minor, remember, two and three, five and six. Goes up one way, down another. Hey, thanks for watching, and thank you, Billy Summers, for having such a great site on Facebook.